When you draw an arc by hand, it's just a quick sketch, but when it comes time to draw them with a CAD system, the options can be overwhelming. Here NanoCAD shows its dozen different ways of drawing an arc. Don't let the list overwhelm you. Many of them are for very specific cases, and you may never need to use them. The most basic one is the three-point arc. Cl click on it to choose it, and then just simply pick three points. So the arc is defined by a starting point, a point somewhere along the arc, and then an ending point. Just like other entities in NanoCAD, you can edit it using grips. When I select it, there's four grips. The center one here at the center point simply moves the arc. The grips at the ends change the angle of the arc and its length. The grip in the center looks a bit different, more like a rectangle than a square. When you select that one, you change the radius of the arc without changing the endpoints. To edit the arc with the properties panel, select it and then see what parameters are available in the geometry section. We can change the center x, y, and z coordinates. We can change the radius, so for example I put in 250, press enter, and we now have a smaller arc. And then we have three sets of angles. The starting and ending angles are relative to the x-axis, whereas the total angle is the angle between the start and end points. And so if I change that to 180, the arc gets longer. When looking at the dozen different ways of drawing an arc in NanoCAD, it's helpful to decode some of the symbols. The yellow plus sign is where you start the arc in each of these options. The blue squares are then the next steps and typically it doesn't matter which one you pick first. Some of the special cases of arcs include start center length is how railroads define the length of an arc. This one specifies an angle and the angle is between the start and end points. In this one your, the direction defines the tangent direction from the starting point. That's important if an arc needs to be tangent to another object. This one specifies the radius of the arc. And finally the last option continues an arc from another line or arc that was drawn before. When I select the continue option notice that NanoCAD selects the end point of the previous arc as the start point for the new arc. For more information about how all the different ways of arc drawing works in NanoCAD start the arc command and then press F1 to bring up help and you'll see a listing of all the possibilities. Placing an arc in exactly the right position can be difficult enough that CAD users have found workarounds. One of them is to draw a circle and then remove the part you don't need to turn it into an arc. Here I'm using the break command. I pick the start of the arc and the end of the arc. NanoCAD removes the part I don't need. When you need to draw an arc between two lines, the easiest way to do that is with the fillet command. So I've entered the fillet command. I choose the first item. I choose the other item and an arc is drawn perfectly between the two.